guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am over the moon, excited to take you all shopping with me at Hobby Lobby. So in my town, they just opened a brand new Hobby Lobby, and this is the first time I have gone into the store. I have been dying to go in. So grab a cup of coffee, hot tea, lemonade, Coca-Cola, whatever you all love to drink, kick back. You don't even have to get out um, of your pajamas. You guys can go shopping with me. I'm gonna take you down all of the aisles. We're gonna check out all of the Christmas decor. I know there are gonna be so many fun goodies we're gonna get so many ideas of things that we can dupe and DIY ways that we can decorate I know my brain is gonna be popping this is another episode in my huge I love Christmas series I love to share with you guys how you can make your home's booty gorgeous on a teeny tiny budget now grab your car keys your purse and let's get this shot Okay, welcome into Christmas shopping at Hobby Lobby with me. This is the first section that greeted me. It is definitely the traditional farmhouse cozy home for the holiday vibe. I love all these beautiful traditional red and greens. These big oversized Santa sacks are so cute. And then check out these gift packages. I have already shared a DIY with you guys on my channel. Very similar. This little red truck is back and badder and cuter than ever. It was $39.99. And then this beautiful woodland deer was $34.99. You guys know I'm crushing on this Merry Christmas, y'all. For $9.99, I'm telling you, that's a pretty good deal because all of their Christmas decor is actually 40% off. Now, moving on, here is another extension of this kind of home for the holidays. Really, really cozy, comfy red and black buffalo check plaid. And I'm telling you, this is being featured at Pottery Barn if you guys go online on their website, they're featuring the red and black check. I love this joy sign. Now this to me looks like something we could possibly DIY using Dollar Tree supplies. It was $12.99. I love the little burlap O in the center. And then I love these red and black buffalo check plaid trees. The larger ones were $11.99. And then the smaller ones were, I believe, $9.99. And remember, they everything is 40% off for their Christmas decor. How cute and snuggly is is this snowman. I have also been sharing with you guys a ton of DIY snowman ideas, how to turn a lot of your fall decor, especially those pumpkins that you may have left over. Maybe you bought a couple too many like I did. You guys can easily turn your pumpkins into snowmen. Your signs, those can become snowmen, trust me. Now moving on to this kind of really cute gingerbread Candyland Christmas. I love this and this is perfect to use in your kitchen. I love to to decorate with like a hot cocoa bar. How cute is this little gingerbread? Christmas calories don't count. Now, if you press on this little gingerbread house, it lights up and it has a little snow inside and this little jolly joy Santa Claus. How beautiful is this gingerbread candy house? Oh my goodness, I am just so in love with this. You guys know I do a hot cocoa bar and a gingerbread station for my kitchen. And then I love this free gingerbread kisses sign. Now you guys know what I do. I always go shopping at Hobby Lobby and Michael's before I go to Dollar Tree because then I know what Dollar Tree is putting out that they're duping for Hobby Lobby. So I didn't actually pick anything up yet on this trip. I'm just shopping to share with you guys so we can get ideas for what we want to DIY. But I do think these oversized gingerbread people are absolutely so stinking adorable. <laughs> Now, another fun addition to your gingerbread would definitely be your candy canes. And I love this little Santa picture and also these super adorable candy canes. Santa stops here. I think the candy canes would be really great to pop outside your house or inside if you're doing a Candyland Christmas. I just posted a huge Candyland Christmas DIY Christmas tree on my Facebook page today. So if you guys love this Candyland Christmas look, I've definitely done some DIYs on these and we will be doing some this season as well and check out this little ladder I know Dollar Tree puts out the little candy canes you guys know that I'm already duping so many of these items in my head using Dollar Tree supplies so look out for some DIYs on some of these ideas again I love to shop and find these more high-end things and figure out how we can dupe them and then some of them honestly at 40% off are going to be a really 
great deal. So if you're not super crafty or you just want to go ahead and pull the trigger on a couple things, I think some of these are just absolutely adorable. Now check this out. You guys could totally make this with some pipe cleaners and some little sprinkles. Um, just so fun and fabulous. And I love all the magic of the red and white. It's just so classic and Christmassy. And you guys know that I love this little gingham sign as well. It's time for it to now another style that I think is super fun and whimsical is the vintage retro Christmas. Check out their section with these little vintage aqua and pink deer and I love how they're mixed in with the traditional red Santa. So I actually even did um, an article for Vintage Holiday Magazine a couple of years back and I mixed in a bunch of aqua and pink and red and that's really how they did it back in the day or that it was my interpretation interpretation and that's kind of what I'm seeing with these. So if you cannot seem to track down some of those original vintage items, this is like a shiny bright dupe. Um, these are super fun and they're really, really nicely priced. And I think they're so fun and whimsical to mix, mix in with your regular traditional holiday decor. Or if you guys are like me, you love to troll the flea markets and yard sales um, for some of these goodies. And I just thought this one was so cute. I believe it was about seven or eight dollars. And then with that 40% off again, it's just a really fun little deal. And then there's those little vintage deer. And I still even mix in some of those vintage retro kind of Christmas goodies. And then how cute is this little pink truck? If you're decorating for a retro Christmas or a pink Christmas, so fun and fabulous. Now moving on to another favorite section of mine is the buffalo check plaid with the white and black mixed in with the rustic kind of woodland items. I absolutely love this section, especially if you're gonna be doing some of Mackenzie Child inspired Christmas decor. The buffalo check plaid is definitely a much more budget friendly option um, over the expense of Mackenzie Child. Now these deer I believe are about 19 to $25. Again, with the 40% off that makes makes them a lot more budget friendly. And then I thought this little lantern with the cardinal inside was so pretty. I love how it lights up. I think these kind of little treasures are so fun, especially if you have grandkids. And here's my hand to kind of show you um, the size. Now check out these packages. I really love these. You guys know I love to use these in and around my tree, especially before I get all my Christmas shopping done. This rustic sleigh is really nice for $24.99. It would be beautiful with some pine cones. And then this sleigh I thought was really nice. It was a little bit overpriced, but it was very heavy duty. I believe it came in at almost $50. That's right, $49.99. To me, it's something you could DIY if your husband or you are handy um, with a couple of pieces of wood and some nice tin. And then I also thought that we could DIY these pillar candles. These are kind of like a birch pillar candle. They're $19.99. You guys could easily use um, like a little stump and then just use some of that birch um, decorative paper. Now this Christmas tree farm, cut your own, is very similar to that DIY I shared with you guys from the farmer's market calendar that they sell at Dollar Tree if you guys were able to grab one. This is $14.99 and with the 40% off, really it's not bad at all, especially if you could not find that farmer's market calendar. Here's how they have it all paired. It's very neutral. Um, you could really go glam with this style and do a rustic glam, or you could go the other way and go rustic farmhouse and just do that really fun kind of vintage farmhouse um, look. So either way, or you can just mix those styles. And I'll apologize in advance, my fingernails and hands have a ton of paint on them. So see, they're pairing it in with kind of these fluffy trees. These trees to me are actually a pretty good deal. $11.99 and then you use your coupon again. Um, and I love how they have them mixed in with the little um, green snowy tree and then even that black and white check. I really, really love that. In fact, I'm kind of thinking about doing something like this for my dining room, going with kind of more of like a snowy glam look and then doing my living room more traditional. 
um, even though they're really close to each other. So I, I have to make it somewhat cohesive because it's almost like one big room. Um, and then here's this Frosty the Snowman hat. It's $29.99. I shared with you guys a DIY on that as well that used Dollar Tree supplies. Now these deer are beautiful and these little glam deer are really cute too. But Dollar Tree does put out some reindeer ornaments that are very similar to this for only a dollar. So keep that in mind. You guys know that I'm always trying to find ways to make everything budget friendly. Okay, now moving down to this section, it's kind of an extension of that cozy woodland theme that I shared with you guys at the beginning, but this is kind of more of that tartan plaid. Okay, so Mackenzie Childs, if you guys are following them, they mix a tartan plaid in with their buffalo check plaid. So if you want to take a break from the buffalo check plaid, go with the tartan. That looks really beautiful with your traditional red and greens, and it looks very high end to me. I really like the look of this. In fact, I'm going to be mixing some of this in with my Christmas decor as well. Honestly, I think if I could just do a themed room for every room, um, that would be so fun. But I love these little puppy dogs. I may get one um, and see what my little puppy thinks about it. I think that would be really fun to just have one popping out from underneath the tree. And I'm interested to see how he handles having a Christmas tree this year. <laughs> Now, I love this letters to Santa box. I have always admired this so much, and I'm really thinking if I can figure out how to do a Dollar Tree dupe, I'm going to. It's $24.99, which again, with a coupon would not be that bad. I also love the look again of this kind of vintage, almost a Victorian looking Santa, except for with a cute face. Sometimes when they show Victorian Santas, the faces are kind of scary. This was $11.99. Again, I feel like we could DIY this for much less. And then I love this beautiful, soft, oh, holy night, silent night. It has some really beautiful manger decor, um, which I think is really sweet. I like to do my manger decor on my entryway table. So when you first come in, that's where I like to put all of that kind of just as a greeting. I love this little joy to the world. And then we have some of the beautiful angels and then different um, just little setups as far as, um, you know, Mother Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus. And so however you guys want to set up your manger, there's all different kinds of little ways to do this. And I know even when my kids were little, I believe we had like a little precious moments manger. And then they had all kinds of garlands and bows to choose from. And then here is another extension of, again of kind of more of that cozy Christmas. There was really so much to look at. And I really tried to share with you guys as much as of it as I could. I know right now everybody cannot get out and I'm able to get out right now safely. And so I just really want to share with you guys everything. Now, if you love birdhouses, you could easily take your birdhouse that you are already have at home, add some beautiful berries and evergreen to it and a pretty little Christmas bow and you have a beautiful Christmas decor piece. So you don't necessarily have to go out and break the bank to have a beautiful Christmas home. Now check out these little trees. I shared with you guys a DIY already on how to make some little wooden Dollar Tree trees. You guys can make these so easily. They're so adorable. And again, here are more of these little packages. I don't know why I'm just so slightly obsessed with these. I think they're so cute because they just really fill out underneath your tree, you know, before you get all of your regular decor in. And they're just so nice to make everything festive. And you can use cardboard boxes to make them in fabric. So really you don't have to spend anything. And I really love when you can make things for next to nothing that look like, you know, a 20 or $30 item. Now, how cute is this little Piggly Wiggly? He is so adorable. I always think it's also fun to add in a little character to your decor at 12 $12.99. He's super adorable. And then here's kind of just an overview again of all of that cozy home for the holidays vibe. Uh, 
Now moving in to the ornament section, they had so many different styles of ornaments to choose from. They were sharing a lot of really beautiful rustic ornaments. And what I love about some of these rustic ornaments is these are really ornaments that you all can DIY at home. You can go and collect some pine cones out of your yard. Um, some of these cute little uh, buffalo check plaid ornaments, you guys can easily make these if you have some of the buffalo check plaid scarves from Dollar Tree, or you can go pick up the buffalo check plaid ornaments from Dollar Tree. They're putting these out as well. Or at $3.99, you use their 40% off coupon. They're not a bad deal from Hobby Lobby either, really. It really just depends on what your budget is and uh, what you're in, in, inspired to do. You guys know I love to pretty much craft all of my decor handmade. So when I see things, my mind instantly starts making it with supplies that I have on hand at home. So I always try to give you guys as many ideas as possible. The other thing I want to let you all know is Hobby Lobby has the majority of these things available online. So if you all see something in this shopping video, you can go to the Hobby Lobby website and just search for it in the search bar and hopefully you'll be able to find it. It's not the best site to navigate, but um, I know it's hard right now if you cannot get out to shop and you see something like a sign or a really cute batch of ornaments and you just have to have it, you know, try not to get frustrated. Maybe you guys can find it online. So just a little tip for you there. I also wanted to let you all know that Hobby Lobby has ribbon available online. I love to buy their big spools of ribbon. So a lot of you will ask me where I get my ribbon. They have 50 yards of ribbon available. You use your coupon and it's going to be a lot better deal pretty much anywhere um, that you would find it. And then also I order my ribbon on Amazon as well. So, but check out how adorable these sweet little ornaments are. Again, if you look at these, a lot of these you all can DIY and dupe at home. Um, um, especially these kind of little sweater ornaments. You guys grab one of your husband's old flannels or sweaters with his permission, of course, you know, something that is being discarded or that is no longer used <laughs> and an old pillow and go to town making some cute little ornaments. Um, you can use the same technique that we used making DIY sweater pumpkins, just make them into ornaments. Or especially if you have a bunch of pumpkins like me left over, you can easily take your pumpkins and turn them into ornaments. You guys know me i just want to share with you guys so many ideas on how to make things fabulous on a budget Now we're moving into the black and white buffalo check plaid section. If you guys saw my last video, I shared with you all how you can mix black and white and the red and black buffalo check. So that's kind of a fun idea if you want to mix the two, or maybe you have um, ornaments from one season that are black and white and you want to add in some red. You guys can totally do that. And I used all Dollar Tree ornaments. So it is possible to have a boutique gorgeous Christmas on a budget, but check out how adorable these are. You guys, again, my mind is just exploding with ideas on how we can DIY these. Or again, if you're not able to craft and you want to go online and buy these, or you want to pop into Hobby Lobby and grab some of them. Sometimes the other thing I like to do is craft up a bunch of ornaments. And then if I run out of time, I will supplement them with a couple of packages of ornaments because sometimes it's not even humanly possible to craft every single ornament. But that's also why we get started so early. Again, I love all of the Buffalo check plaid. Okay. So moving in to kind of, okay, now we're going to be going into a little bit more of the glam. So here are some really adorable little gnomes. And I did share with you guys a little DIY gnome. And then here's one of these beautiful glam deer. Now the velvet deer are actually $49.99. And then this beautiful, um, it's kind of like a little glass cathedral, I guess. It's $79.99 with these little houses inside. I really feel like we could dupe this for way cheaper, although it is really beautiful. And then these big, beautiful kind of... Um, star clear crystal pieces were really nice. Now here was the winner for me on these. If you're decorating for glam, this, I'm not even for sure if you could DIY something this nice at $14.99. 
for this size because the glitter has a lot of pearls kind of mixed into it. Although, hey, we could give it a whirl, but glitter with that amount of chunks and pearls could get a little bit expensive. If you guys have a great glitter link, drop it down below because I really don't have a great like chunky glitter link. Maybe we could find that glitter cheaper and do it for cheaper. Now this little house is $12.99 and it was heavy duty, but Target's gonna be putting out houses. You may be able to get a little bit cheaper on that. Okay, so here's some beautiful glittering trees, $14.99 for the smaller ones. I am gonna share with you guys how to take those Dollar Tree Christmas trees and make them look kind of like they've been frosted with snow. So hang on for that one. I do love these though with these kind of big chunky pine cones, but again, for $24.99, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Now, I did share a DIY with you guys last year on how to dupe these kind of fuzzy boxes. We did use Dollar Tree baby blankets, but this is really, really pretty for $24.99. If you guys love that glam look, definitely go for that. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And check out all of this woodland glam. Oh my goodness, I'm telling you, every time I see a different new style, I just really wanna go for that style. You guys know me, I do love some touches of glam and I'm definitely thinking for my um, dining room I want to go with some hints of glam Another style that is really trendy this year is definitely your rustic glam. So you're going to see pops of white and silver. You could even mix some gold in with that. You're going to see a lot of frosted evergreen with that look. So rustic glam is definitely going to be something that you can mix in with your farmhouse. Um, check out how adorable these little owls are. Okay, this little furry owl, I don't know. I may have to have him come home with me. I think he would be beautiful mixed in to a rustic glam tree. I was watching a really high-end design on YouTube, Christopher somebody, but I was watching him decorate this woodland tree and it was extravagant and it was actually for a storeroom and he was using these beautiful owl and it just made me think of that. So that is really a beautiful option and he used a lot of birch wood. So think about that if you're doing rustic glam, you wanna make everything kind of sparkle and have birch wood and just have, like you can use a lot of the rustic elements that maybe you were using in farmhouse. Um, but then add just a little bit more sparkle, a little bit more shine. Um, and you could go so many routes with that. And also these would be a fun little DIY to do some little wooden beads with some snowflakes dangling from the end. That would be a really fun thing to do with kids because you wouldn't have to use a hot glue gun. So again, you guys can tell my mind is so just set on crafting everything. And then here are your cute little foxes, your porcupines. These are so fun to add in to your decor. Now, $24.99 is a little bit much for them, but they're really, really cute and they're very delicate. Okay, so I'm always, always, always drawn to these fuzzy blankets every single time. And I thought that these were really a pretty good deal. I've never bought the Hobby Lobby fuzzy blankets. In fact, I really don't buy much from Hobby Lobby. I buy more things from Dollar Tree in the thrift store. But these were $19.99. And again, with that 40% off, I think they're a pretty fun option. Um, comment down below and let me know. Now, I wanted to share with you guys the sign it says 40% off, but it doesn't include like your needle art and your yarn and that good stuff. So I hope that helps you guys as well. Also check um, your Hobby Lobby coupons. They do have coupons and they run sales on different things every week. So we are so excited to have a Hobby Lobby in our town. I cannot believe our little town has never had a Hobby Lobby. I usually have to drive 45 minutes out of town either direction to find a Hobby Lobby. And I just don't, I'm just really a homebody. And so I don't really make it out of town that often. So I am just over the moon excited to be able to have this option. I think it's gonna up my game too, my crafting for you guys to be able to have more than anything I like to be able to have the craft supplies available as far as like fabric, and all of that kind of stuff. Um, and also be able to share with you guys all these ideas. And this gets me inspired to create more treasures to share with you guys as well. Here it is. 
The next section I had to share with y'all was the pink girly glam section. They had these really adorable Robert Stanley elves put out and for $39.99 with the 40% off, that's really a good deal for these very handmade crafted looking elves. And then these really cute little feather trees were $24.99. And let me tell you, if you guys like to decorate year round with this beautiful glam look, this might be something you want to pick up because you guys could leave these out in different little sections of your home if you love that really pink glam girly look. I also love these beautiful icicle trees. They did have an option to be able to press a button and light up. Now when I tried to press the button on this one it did not light up but I'm guessing it maybe lights up. It makes like a really pretty kind of waterfall effect look. So I would actually be interested to see what those trees did. And then if you didn't want the pink elf you could go for kind of the silver elf. Again, adding a character into your decor is really, really fun. And I used to do a really over the top glam pink Christmas. And I even had an Etsy shop where I sold really beautiful high end pink Christmas decor. I created that decor out of a need because I was decorating my house in a very shabby chic rose girly glam style. And so I created it and began to sell it because there was nothing out there for um, the glam girl which there's so much more out there now and check out these leopard balls and all these pink ornament balls and then if you go for glam girly definitely add in some pearls and sparkle and shine and it's really actually fairly easy to create pink ornaments you're going to need a couple of cans of pink spray paint or pink apple barrel paint and you can just start going to town transforming everything into a pink look and I do not have my Etsy shop anymore um, a lot of people ask if I'm going to be doing any pink Christmas um, decor anymore I just share with you guys now how to create your own they also have an all white section now here I'm going to share with you guys some Santa Claus I love Santa Claus. I think Santa Claus is really fun to add into your Christmas decor. When I look for a Santa Claus, I always look for really kind eyes and I look for a really happy, jolly face. I really thought that this cute little baking Santa would be fun to add in to my little um, kitchen. I really want a red Santa or a tartan Santa. I'm really not too crazy about this guy's face. He was pretty cute. He was okay. But the one I kind of fell in love with this was this like Nordic um, chunky guy right here. I wish he would have had like a tartan coat on. So I'm going to have to keep hunting. And then I really love this guy right here. Now, I love nutcrackers too. I love to sprinkle in nutcrackers. In fact, if you guys saw my last designer tree that I did, I added some Dollar Tree nutcrackers into the tree and I love this guy. I would like to get an oversized nutcracker to put outside my door. However, they are so expensive and I've been begging Mr. Romantic to build one for me. I don't know if that will happen. It might happen when we're really old and we <laughs> don't have any kids sports to go to anymore. But I also thought this little candy stripe elf nutcracker would be adorable again for like a gingerbread, um, little candy cane, hot cocoa bar, just so many cute ideas. You guys, I have popping ready to roll. <laughs> and then the other thing I want to share with you guys some more blankets. So Hobby Lobby had quite a few blanket options. Again, these are $19.99. So they have kind of the pattern on the outside and then they have like the fuzzy Sherpa on the inside. I feel like you cannot get enough blankets in your home, especially during the holidays when everybody's at home and they want to throw a blanket on. You got to have some throw pillows too. Now, I get all of my throw pillows. I order my throw pillow covers on Amazon. I really feel like that's the best deal. But if you want some of these little specialty pillows to match into your decor, these are really cute. So I love this little joy. I love the Mary with this. I think you could DIY this, honestly, if you could cut those Mary letters out. Um, and then here is those Ray Dunn. They did some of these for fall. So they've got Jingle, Merry and Bright, and then Deck the Halls. And those were $39.99. And these would be beautiful mixed in again with that plaid. Um, I am thinking though that I'm going to mix in tartan plaid with the black and white um, Mackenzie Childs. But look at, check this out, you guys. So if you guys remember back in the 80s, 90s, my mom had a bunch of kind of this snowman Santa Claus decor. Now, moving on to these adorable Christmas mugs. If you guys 
please follow me on Instagram. I say good morning with you every morning with a cup of coffee. So I'm always on the hunt for some super adorable coffee cups. Here are some cute ones. I love this little sloth. I don't know if it was the polka dots or the happy sloth of days. <laughs> and then for your single ladies, we've got single all the way. And then here's a little tartan mug. And then just so many cute ones. This was probably my favorite, the happy holidays. I may have to grab that one with the cute little puppy dog. It doesn't quite look like my pupper, but it was pretty cute, you know, just to bring a smile to your face for a good morning cup of coffee. And then I had to just straighten the coffee mugs. You guys know me. I'm a little crazy like that. Then we've got the Grinch, a little cute little jolly snowman. And then if you're going for all white glam, here's your glam goodies down here with Joey and then the Santa Claus. And then here's these kind of cute little I love hot chocolate. And then we've got another cute little cold hands and warm heart. I really liked that one. And then they had a couple little goodies over here. These are those light up vintage tree dupes. So you can find these kind of out at flea markets. They're not always in the best of shape. So they're duping them and they even have these little cute campers. And then of course the little red truck. And then I think the gingerbread houses are adorable. I actually found one at a garage sale last year. The lights on it don't work, but it's still super cute. And then the amount of picks that Hobby Lobby has is absolutely crazy. So if you love picks, in your tree definitely check them out now i'm not going to leave out my snowmen lovers i'm saving some of the best for last so everybody out there that loves snow people snow ladies snowmen you guys know i have been duping so many um snow people and sharing with you guys so many diys again you guys can really create a lot of snow people using your dollar tree pumpkins so if you have too many of them like me um, or you just have some old boards laying around you guys can make these they're so fun and a adorable and they're not hard at all. Now, if you have a larger home, I think these large oversized signs are really, really nice to park by your front door. You can even dupe them. You'd have to put several Dollar Tree signs together. The other thing that really caught my eye was this giant silver bow. It was kind of like a tin bow. Again, if you're decorating in a farmhouse style and you have a really large home, I think this would be beautiful, maybe outside mixed in with a garland. It was just so unique and it really caught my eye for something different. They also have these large oversized signs. Now here is more of kind of the red and white. And I want to share with you guys some of kind of the little elf themed. This to me is looking along the lines of something that you would see for kiddos with the letters to Santa. And then the Santa Claus is coming to town. And I would have totally bought pretty much everything on this aisle or duped it when my daughter was little with all of these bright colors. This was everything her bedroom was with the llama colors and all of the bright just pinks and yellows. And it's just an expression and burst of joy I absolutely love this Mary and then the ho 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 and then these little pom-pom trees you guys you could totally do these all you'd have to do was use a little cone you could either use um little pom-poms from Dollar Tree or the little styrofoam cones. And then here's the little elf section. So fun and fabulous. Now, what caught my eye actually in the elf section, I got, guess I got a little distracted. I really love this Santa Claus book. What I love about it is you can hide all kinds of things in it. <laughs> Remotes, things your puppy shouldn't get and all of that good stuff. But how cute and merry with the bright red and green. So if you love that bright red and green, here's your section. Now, another thing that I thought would be cute for a teen's room. I may grab this for my daughter. I told her about it. I always spoil my surprise, but this one says morning person on the 25th and it has the little teen girl on there. So cute. And I love this Jesus. Jesus is the reason for the season and so fun and fabulous. So just a little review of some of the DIYs we've done. We have done so many DIYs. So I just want you guys to check out all of these. These are all of the Dollar Tree DIYs we've done so far. We've done some hauls. I'm going to leave the I Love Christmas series playlist down below for you guys. We've already done so many styles as well. So you guys are going to have to go check that out after you've watched this video. You guys are going to absolutely love it. And I just want to thank you all for being here. I can't wait for our next video.
So thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafty decor adventure. I hope you guys are totally inspired to do some DIYs. If you can get out and safely shop, do a little window shopping or find some fun and fabulous Christmas decor. If y'all are new, I would love to have you be part of my little crazy crafty community. Click that subscribe button. It's totally free. Punch the bell. It will update you every time I post a new video on my YouTube channel. Also, I have a Louise Romantic Home Facebook page. I have a free group page you guys can join if you like to do DIY projects and home decor. You can post photos over there. Um, again, it's totally free. Pop over there. Libby's Romantic Home Facebook page. I would love to have you. I also have an Olivia's Romantic Home Instagram page. You guys can hashtag me and I'll share some of those um, hashtags on my story. I also just want to encourage you guys to keep up the good work crafting and decorating. It is so good for your heart and soul. I know so many of you guys have been sharing that you're starting to craft with your moms or your grandmas or your kids or your grandkids. Listen, crafting is just like totally total therapy for me, I know. So, and it also just brings people together and give yourself some grace because let me tell you, I have so many crafting disasters and you guys don't see it because I edit out so many things that go wrong in my crafts, trust me. So just keep up the good work, crafting and decorating. And every time you do a craft, the next time you're gonna get that much better. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Remember Bob Ross said, there's just so many little happy accidents. And so sometimes like I'll start a project and then it'll end up coming out better than I thought it would be. So anyway, I just want to encourage you guys that um, just to start. So you got to plug in that glue gun. You got to get out your glitter. You got to get out your paint. And so anyway, keep up the good work. I can't wait for the next video, but until then, remember, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another. And then we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.